A majestic homecoming for Stone Cold Steve Austin sees the Rattlesnake drop KO with the Stone Cold Stunner, locking in the victory. Austin sets a WrestleMania record with 20 years going between WrestleMania wins, as his previous victory at the event was over Scott Hall at 2002's WrestleMania 18. Cheers to Stone Cold. Moving on, we arrive at WrestleMania 39. Last year's spectacular that played host to many show-stopping moments. And night one was where we got to watch the scintillating rematch between Judgment Day's Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship. The two first met at WrestleMania 36. When Charlotte, it was a competitive affair, but Charlotte walked out with the victory and the NXT Women's title. Three years later, though, things had changed. Ripley had arrived to the main roster, and at WrestleMania 37, she defeated Asuka to become Raw Women's Champion. Unfortunately, a few months later at Money in the Bank 2021, Ripley would again face Charlotte and would again lose her championship by submission. So when Rhea won the 2023 Women's Royal Rumble match, entering at number one for the record, she wasted little time to make her challenge. The next night on Raw, she'd lay it out to the woman that had stopped her momentum on more than one occasion, the seven-time women's champion and the queen herself, Charlotte Flair. On a night one that featured incredible action and immortal legends, Ripley and Flair would deliver a performance that could not be denied. Charlotte eternally defending her status as top woman in WWE and Ripley with her golden opportunity to vanquish the ghosts of WrestleMania past. One thing was clear. If Ripley was going to get it done, she'd have to avoid Charlotte's vaunted figure eight, which had twice been her undoing. If she could do that, her path to victory was clear. That's usually everyone's plan against Charlotte, but she still seems to find it one way or another. Can you put the perfect attack together and defeat Charlotte Flair? Or will you, like so many before, end up bowing down to the queen? Let's go to night one of WrestleMania 39 and find out. that her quick start was a thing of the past and now Ripley had her choice of how to punish the champion next Rhea had continued to put her brutality on it.
Rhea started hitting Charlotte with some big, big shots. And he kicked out. We may never know. At this point, you could see the resignation on the face of Rhea Ripley. If that super German suplex wasn't going to put Charlotte away, what was? But you can't give up in moments like these. This is where Rhea was going to show us exactly what she was made of. A rare double knockout brought the action to a halt as these two were proving to be more evenly matched than initially anticipated. But it was Charlotte who appeared to be the first for the first time in the contest. Was Charlotte's refusal to just stay down starting to affect Rhea's confidence? But now wasn't the time to panic. That's what Charlotte Flair wanted from Ripley. That's what makes Charlotte Flair so great, so dangerous. Her ability to just survive will have you questioning everything you once believed. Rhea and Charlotte both wore the effects of the bow. Mommy was leaving with the SmackDown Women's Gold.